Hey guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going through repairing an, an original Xbox with the drive eject issue. Now what do I mean by a drive eject issue? Well I'll show you. If we turn this console on and we push the eject button, nothing is happening because basically the drive is trying to open but it's just not getting there. Now interestingly enough, if you hit the Xbox, this is a quick fix. Sometimes this works. There we go. <laughs> so if you hit it, all of a sudden it opens up and then it makes you think, what's going on here? Is it the housing that's hitting this or is it something else? Well, there's actually in this little area here, there's a little belt, like one of these, that basically attaches to the motor and when you're pushing that button that motor is going around and it's attaching to the belt and telling the drive, okay we need to eject or we need to go back in. Um, what's happened is this belt sort of wears out over time and needs replacing. And sometimes you actually have issues getting it back in because that belt just won't engage properly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this and we'll replace the belt and see if that fixes the issue. So what you're going to need is a T20 Torx bit. They're quite massive. And we're going to power this off. And it's also a good idea to have a metal or plastic spudger. I prefer the metal ones just because they're a little bit stronger. Um, and then we're going to take off the little feet here with our sponger. And you can see that those feet were stuck down for so long that the adhesive that holds them down didn't want to come off either. Now there's another screw, there's one right here. You just want to like poke a hole through that. And there is another one right there. And we'll take our Torx bit and we'll undo these screws. And flip the console over and just give it a little bit of a jiggle. Basically, this should just come off. Um, just gonna flip over here. Just gonna go through my pry tool just while I try to open it. Yep. And that's the tray off. Now, under this IDE cable, there is a screw in here. There's a screw down here, and there's another one over here for the drive. So first we'll unplug this IDE cable. And now we also need another torque bit. And then we want to remove the hard drive. So you sort of just got to wiggle it out. And we're just going to put that to the side and then we'll unplug the drive there at the back and we're just going to pull this one out and just unplug the cable the power cable as well for that and what we'll do is we'll put the xbox to the side Take out the tray and pulls that in. Now on the back of the drive you've got four little Phillips head screws here, so we're just going to remove those. And then 
what's going to happen is this top piece should then basically detach and the bottom piece should detach from each other. And for this one, we just want to sort of take off the top piece like that. Now, you'll see down here there's a little white plug or a little white um, connector piece. And what we want to do is we want to push this back, which then drops the laser and allows us to eject the drive. And then you'll see here there's the little drive belt. So we're just going to remove this one. And you can see this one's like, look at the shape of it, it's like an egg from all that wear. And then we'll grab our new drive belt. And we're just going to put it in here. If I can do this without the whole drive coming apart, there we go. I'm just going to put this in there. Just make sure it spins around okay and the drive's not coming, uh, the belt's not coming off. Now we're going to put this in, and the important step is once you've pushed this back in, you want to reach down and grab that white tab and you want to push it towards you, and that will then fully close the drive. And you want to push it as far forward as you can get it, basically. Like that. Now the drive is shut. I'm just going to put the bottom casing back on. And then we're going to put the top casing back on. And we'll put our four Phillips head screws back in. Put this back in the case that holds it. Grab your Xbox. Don't forget to remove the hard drive. Plug in the power at the back. I'll plug in the IDE cable as well. There you go. And make sure it's sitting flush because you don't want it like sticking out or something um, causing you issues later on. And then I'm going to grab my screwdriver. Put these torque screws back in. Now we can put the hard drive back in. Pull the power cable through a little bit and then just go through and put it back in its tabs. It should all line up pretty nicely. And then grab your RDE cable. Plug that back in and don't forget this screw here. That one there. And basically the top casing is now ready to go back on, so we'll grab that. Mm. 
Mine's actually got a little burn mark over here, which is making it hard to difficult close case. We'll put in the six screws for chassis. Let's plug it back in. Turns on. Just like a bolt one. That's all there is to it. If you're after these belts, I do sell them on my eBay store. The, it's in the description below. If you like this video, please like it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. And stay tuned for future videos. We're going to do more how-to, more repair videos and stuff, trying to diagnose problems and repair them. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.